Hello, West Coast. Hey, East Coasters. Hello, Lindy. Hello. 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 We're back to the murder table. You're back on the East Coast. I am back and ready to have some whiskey. You picked the crappiest time of the year to come here. Because it's winter time? Yeah, it's winter time. But that's okay. Could, would this be like in a Batman where it had the extra special guest star? Is yes. <laughs> he said, he said, but we're not climbing up a wall. And he's not going to pop his head out of a window. <laughs> so we're going to go to Israel for some milk and honey. Do we need a passport? No. We don't. We don't need a passport. Because actually, we're bringing Israel to us. We're bringing the world closer together. Yes, we are. We are. With whiskey. We're not dividers. No. We are, we're not dividers. No. We're, not we're dividers. uniters. We are yeah. uniters. So, we so, should be negotiating between the Israelis and the Palestinians. See, if they all drank, they'd all be happy. Together. See? That's right. Right? Okay. So, Milk and Honey Distillery, two different whiskeys. One is a double cask. One is a lightly peated version of the double cask. Care to explain? First distillery in Tel Aviv, and their their big claim to fame is that the their consultant on their whole process and developing the whole distillery was by the late great Dr. Jim Swan, Dr. Jim Swan. who's uh, done Dr. that Jim. various places across the world, Cavalon and Cotswolds and um, other distilleries helping them develop their whole process. And apparently he knew a lot about hot climate whiskey making, which of course Tel Aviv is. And it wants to do with evaporation Jump. rates, I guess, too. Right? Cheers, clink, 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 cheers, cheers, cheers. Unity. Unity. Through spirit. So, okay. And this is all single malt? Single malt. And a 46%. Two okay. casks. I okay. believe this is the, they use the STR cast method, which yeah, is... Uh, um, shave, toasted, and what's the R stand for? Oh, uh, rechard. Rechard, oh. where they shave down the uh, the, the ex bourbon cast, I believe, or I believe it's ex bourbon cask. X wine, sh- STR, and ex bourbon. Oh, okay. And they shave it down to expose the uh, next level of, uh, of of the wood, and then they rechar it, and they're kind of re- replenishing the wood there. There you go. It's aged twelve months. It smells like Israel. Whatever that means. I don't know. Is it those Zatar spices? Or what is that stuff? Oh, is Zatar. It, hummus. If it does smell like Israel, I think I'd like to go there. <laughs> I think so. So what's the ABV on this? Uh, 46. 46. 46. Because it, it smells a little medicinal. Yep. Not a lot, but a little. I get a little bit of uh, a little vanilla. A little bit of uh, some baking spices. I don't know if that comes from the bourbon cask. I don't or... get any, any of the wine. I'm getting a no, little, I don't get the I'm wine I'm getting a little of wood, though. Yeah. A little oak, maybe. Whatever it is that. It's young. Makes sense. So again, it's the heat that makes it only 12 months. Right? That, that, because otherwise it'd be too much evaporation. Yeah, I think I heard an interview with the master seller who said, you know, I think they're not going to have any old stuff okay. ever. Because but, I mean, that's fine. I mean, yeah. Emirates doing the same thing and Balcone and all those guys. No. Cavalin. I remember hearing this on the uh, One Nation Under Whiskey podcast. They were, I think Joshua Hatton was there. Okay. And they're actually doing this experiment where they've taken some casks and taken them to the Dead Sea. There's a resort at the Dead Sea. There's a resort to the yeah. Dead Sea. And they're actually putting them on top of a hotel and letting them age at, so it's Get below sea level. Get some salt Oh, okay. It's below, below sea level. Okay. And seeing what's going to happen. It's That's wacky. wacky. Why not? Why not? Why not? What could happen? You're just wasting a barrel of whiskey. Eh. You should send some whiskey to another place. A different climate. Like it's our nice. backyard. I'll keep it in my shed. Put it in the shed. We got a shed. shed. There may be evaporation, probably, what, 4, 8% a year? Yeah, that's right. That's fine. That could be one that's night. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going for a taste. Not, not, I mean, the nose is, you know, again, getting, it's light. It's not super fruity. It's not particularly smoky. This was not peated, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it tastes like it's peated. There's a little bit of so? smoke to it. Maybe a little. Not, maybe not peat, maybe like a cigar. Yeah, yeah, nice cigar. Yeah, I was there is there is something to it. it yeah. tastes, and it's all up front. Yeah, it's it all tastes, up front. Yeah, it short, tastes young, short finish. Yeah, well, I don't know. Tastes young. Yeah, I guess it's it's, um, it's not super rich or multi layered. No, it's a little flavors. bit rough around the edges, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's really just in the front. There's no middle. There's no finish. It's just not that it. No, I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah. You know, it tastes pretty nice. Oh, it does. That's good. It is actually very nice. So this is one of those places you think it'll be interesting to see how they are for years. You're right, though. Years. The, the cigar wrapper. Yeah. More like maybe like a pipe tobacco. Yeah. It's a little sweeter. Yeah. yeah. Like a cigar wrap. A cigar can be a little bit harsh. Whereas pipe tobacco, I've found, 
I mean, I haven't smoked a pipe in 30 years. Yes, I smoked a pipe when I was 20. Um, Jacked with patches, too? Yes. <laughs> Well, of course. Smoking, smoking jacket. I had, you know, corduroys. I had my dock sides, you know. You dressed like Hefner? Is that what it was? You uh, thought of being a pipe and a nice smoking coat. jacket? Nice nice girls would come. Nice smoking was? jacket? Right. No girls. That's why I smoked. And drank. <laughs> I drank. A lot. <laughs> I like that. But yeah. I, get the, I get the cigar wrapper. I like the second The second gulp yeah. was actually like better. Mm-hmm. It's, it's light. It's a light, easy drinking whiskey. I wouldn't even say cocktail. It's just as it is. It's fine. Yeah. This could be like an everyday dram. No, it's think, all around my teeth. It's very it's like mouth filling, yeah. anesthetized. And again, for a first effort, for coming out of twelve months, that's not too bad. How old this is? It's, that, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Nice. So, good. I don't know. I don't even know how to rate it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's great. It's not mind blowing. No, but it's pretty darn good for something that's only twelve months old. Yeah, I and agree. These guys here at uh, M and H or Milk and Honey are. I think they're looking for volume. They're going to be trying to go worldwide. Right now, like. Like the, the lingering. I'm getting like the vanilla, like a vanilla sugar. Yeah. Candy like sugar a light sugar. sweetness, you know, with a little bit of vanilla on the aftertaste. Like this is a few minutes like later. Like uh, icing? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, getting yeah. some more herbally stuff, like mint. Mm. No, it's good. It's nice. I give it a, I give it a BB plus. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's pretty solid. You know, it's tasty. It's not Mid-80s? Yeah. yeah. It's already in stores here. I saw, I got a bottle at KNL. Okay. And, uh, actually, of the... The next one we're going to have. Uh, the peated? Yep. Yeah, so now we're going to do one more. And this is a lightly peated. Now, this is the same, but then they add one more layer, right? You said? It's one more. I think it's, thr- it's, triple, it's triple distilled. triple cast. Triple cast or triple distilled? Tr- oh, triple cast, right. Yeah. Yep. So it's it's the S- the SDR thing again. And then it's the um, the bourbon cast. And then they do with Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need a little more. Yeah, you need a little more. Come on. We need another guy. We're not, we're not gonna, I'm not going to short you. Short, short poured poured me again. You. I'm not going to short you anymore. Uh, you. Sure. Just a drop. A little slosh. Okay. Now, is this also 46? Yes. They're both the same. 46. So the only difference with this one and that one is just the extra layer of peat. Well, uh, do we know that the first one had peat? No, I mean the, the cask. Yes. So There's no peat in it. And they said it's an ex isla cask. Correct. Right? We don't know where. We don't know which one. No, we don't. And do we know where they're getting the peat? So the actual name is Whiskey in Bloom Lightly Peated. But well, again, this is a... They're not using peat in the no. distill it in the, in the process. They're just using it. They're just aging in, in, a, in a peated cask. In an isla yeah. cask. Right. Okay. okay. So it's like the Balvenie the the peated. peated cask or the yeah. peat yeah. or whatever they right. do. They do. Not peat well, What's the one they do? <laughs> They do peat week where they actually make peated whiskey. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's different. Okay. All right. Yeah, the exhaler provides an additional layer of light peatiness and maritime aroma. Each of the different casts contributes a complexity to the spirit, balancing and refining the different flavors for an intricate, lightly peated whiskey and blue. Salud. Salud. It's in, I think it's an interesting combination. Do you ever think of Isla and Israel in the same no. world? No. They both begin with eyes. They both begin with okay. eyes. Yes, they're very <laughs> short words. <laughs> they both start with I-S. And they have an L and an A in it. it. Is they're pretty close, letter wise. So maybe there is sort of a relationship. It's a bit, uh, it's a shame it's not a, quite an anagram, but it's close. The nose is a little funky. A little I, bit. I get a little bit of the peat. Getting a bunch of things. I could definitely get a little. Getting peat. a bunch of things all at once. But I'm getting like a smoky vanilla. Definitely a little funk. It's not super peated, but you can no, tell there's a, a little bit. There's that extra layer. There's just one little extra layer. I've had a numerous casts from places that are ex Isla, right? I think it's usually some Kalila or Langwollen or Lafroig, and sometimes you get the, the the smoke, sometimes you don't. Give a taste. Give a taste. I think the nose is a little more candied than the mm. other too. I, I that I like. This I like better. I mean, I know I'm a sucker for Pete. Come on, go ahead. There's Talk more me. smoke. There's that extra layer. There's just that extra little layer that I think brings out more of the vanilla. I'm definitely getting more uh, tobacco y yeah. Yeah. yeah on the mm. tongue. Yeah. With this, and a little bit of the peat, a little less of the wood. Yep. You're not getting the wood in there. I guess that's the extra time it spends in the third barrel. Yeah. Well, we don't. Did it? Do we know how long this? How old this is? They've only been around. For, it doesn't say. It's got to be less than three years. It doesn't say. I'm not sure. They don't really say how that's long. That's nice. So it, this is this is really a little nice. more a little more depth, a little more balance. Yep. Yeah. I like it too. Um, I like that little extra layer, but it's not super medicinal. No. It's just no. gives it that little bit of you know something. It's not like I yeah. nine. No, right. no, no, no. And, and it, the first one had, everything was up front. 
Mm -hmm. And this actually has a little bit of a middle and a little bit more of a finish. Well, yeah. some finish. The first one really didn't have a finish at all. Where, uh, you know, the balance is pretty good. Interesting. Like uh, Ardbeg, when they, their old, old stuff was, you know, there was this process of when they were re resurrecting the distillery, there was young, right? Was it started called young something uh, or almost ready, okay. almost there. And it was like a series of names to get to where they were, you know, make in full production as the stuff was aging. And this is called in bloom, right? So it's okay. not there yet. Yeah, they're, this is young. Mm -hmm. okay. they're, they're saying it's young. So it's, it's, there's a process here. So again, call me back in a couple years. So we, we, we got, got Bloom. Do we have a Bialystok? <laughs> Do we have a Max Bialystok? <laughs> oh. oh. You're, You're wearing a paper belt. Look, I'm wearing a paper belt. Um, <laughs> Sorry. The, the, the first one I thought the finish, it kind of lingered with a little bit of an icing. And I think this is a little salty. It is a little, bit. A little it's, salty. It's way it's salty. salty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, where you don't get that sweetness. See it? No, it's a it's a whole different thing. <laughs> Correct. No, I like this one. I, I'm going. I'm I'm giving this a B plus. It's still not quite so an A. So you're going yeah, high, I agree. High eighties. Yeah, 80, yeah I'm going 80, 80. So like I'd say eighty five for the yeah. first one, eighty eight for this 80. one. Yeah. It's got a good beat. I dance to it. No, it's good. I That's like good. it. I like it. It's it's light, easy drinking, but it's got that just that little extra something that I like to just kind of give it a little more depth. The third cask. Yeah, that's the third cask. It makes a difference. So I like it. Uh, how long have they been around? Three, less than three years. I think so three or four years. Is really I'd say effort. it's a damn good effort. Um, they started in 2014. Okay. So, so they're know, five years old? Not bad. Not bad at all. They make other spirits, but this is we're, we're going to focus on whiskey. So. And, and I think the other part of that is bringing Swan in. They're using a very Scottish method to the process. Okay. They're not trying to, they're not trying to reinvent the wheel. They're, uh -huh. they're going with a Scottish process. Okay. Sounds good. So anyhow, cheers to Milk and Honey Distillery in Tel Aviv, Israel. And and the samples from... Oh, and, and of course, big thank you to our fine friends at Impex That's right. for sending these along. So cheers, folks. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Salute. What, no clinky? I don't have no clinky? Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Adios. <laughs>